we are here outside to send a very clear message that what this country needs in the midst of the frustration, in the midst of this pain, and in the midst of all the anger is a leader who will bring America together and not divide us. And Donald Trump's rhetoric, his demeanor, and his policies make him unqualified and unfit to be the President of the United States. I wanted to be here this morning standing side by side with my Muslim American sisters and brothers, with my Jewish American sisters and brothers, with Asians who are here, with people from all over the Chicagoland area saying, we do not welcome Donald Trump to Chicago. We don't welcome him because of the hateful and divisive rhetoric that he represents. To elect him president of this country would be disastrous. It would be a setback for Chicago, and Chicago cannot afford to go back. Illinois cannot afford to go back. We're here to remind Donald Trump that in the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois, that the American Muslim community, although we have been horrified by the violence that his rhetoric has incited across the country, that we are not intimidated by him, we are not cowed by him, we will, not be we will not be acquiesced by his rhetoric, and we will tell him, as we've told others, that the American Muslim community and Muslim immigrants helped build this city. It was a Muslim immigrant who built the most iconic building in the city of Chicago, and it's not the Trump Tower. It was Fawzal Rahman that built the now Willis Tower. It's Muslim immigrants and American Muslims that sit on the hospital wings of every major hospital and medical center in this city. It's Muslims that have been working in government, Muslims working in philanthropy. It's been Muslims working on the ground in communities, organizing for safer, more accountable communities. And it was Muslims marching on the streets with their black and brown and white brothers and sisters saying, yes, Donald Trump, black lives do in fact matter. And we remind Donald Trump, as our brothers and sisters have already reminded them, that his idiotic, imbecilic, asinine view of this country just does not comport with reality, that the American Muslim community is not one group of Arabs or Indians, that we are black, that we are brown, that we are Mexican, that we are coming from all different communities, as our gay and, and lesbian brothers and sisters reminded uh, Donald Trump that we are no longer just one community. We are all together and we will stand shoulder to shoulder against the rhetoric of bigotry, against the rhetoric of hatred, and against the record of and rhetoric of absolute utter stupidity and saying that we will and can and inshallah, God willing, we'll do better for this country, for our children and their children. Thank Here. you. And Donald Trump represents everything that's wrong with society, everything that's wrong with the country, everything that is encapsulated by hate and division. And while I know that he talks about this crazy wall that he wants to build, I say that we all join forces and build this symbolic wall between him and the White House. <laughs> and the best way that we can do that is instead of giving in to any of this hateful rhetoric and divis divisive speech, is to love each other, to embrace each other, to even do it with people you don't like and you can't stand. To actually recognize that our diversity and our differences is what makes us great if we can if we can actually accept them and embrace them. So all of us who are different, we start by love, not hate. We love each other. We support each other in the face of attacks on our communities. And we march together to the polls to build that wall come November 8th that will keep him away from the White House, and we do that through votes. Are we on? Yes! We are an organization that's running a national non-candidate campaign across the country in seven states, and we're at about up to 200 campuses. Here in the state of Illinois, we're at 12, we're at 12 campuses, and we are, we are organizing and running youth mobilization and rallying and engaging young millennials around climate action. We want to make sure that we're electing climate champions coming in November. The reasons why we're here today in anti-support of Donald Trump, he is the presumptive Republican Party leader, and we know this is a disaster for our country and our planet. 
His toxic rhetoric and his irresponsible positions around climate will permanently damage our future. Trump's energy plan will expand fossil fuel development and protect corporate polluters. The first thing he said that he wants to take action in doing is not to promote clean energy, but to abolish the EPA. If we abolish the EPA, I don't know if you're aware of what that would do. That would give free reign to climate polluters to further hurt our, our people of color and our poor communities right here in Chicago specifically and neighborhoods like Pilsen. This is something that is super important. Environmental injustice is something that the people are concerned about with a toxic president like Trump.